Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, greetings from the Anteroom and Judiciary Committee. Uh, double duty here. Uh, Dr. Uh, Friedhoff, I'd like to ask you a question about how the use of supercomputing and computational toxicology could assist your office with the assessment of new chemicals under TOSCA. Uh, existing programs, as you know, uh, that address environmental risk and consumer product exposures rely on scientific data, but generating this data can often be slow, uh, costly, and rely on animal testing. I believe we can improve this by using supercomputers to run models to better predict adverse health effects caused by chemicals and to identify safer chemicals before they are in use in manufacturing. I've been working to advance legislation to create a consortium referred to as SuperSafe to be comprised of federal agencies, including EPA, HHS, uh, and DOE, along with state agencies and academic and other research institutions with, with uh, similar capabilities um, to supercomputing and machine learning uh, to establish rapid approaches uh, for large-scale identification of toxic substances and the development of safer alternatives. Now, this super safe consortium would develop and validate computational toxicology methods to predict adverse health effects caused by toxic substances and identify the safer chemical alternatives for for uh, use before we have widespread chemical pollution in air, water, land, and consumer products. So with that as a background, Dr. Friedhoff, how would a super safe consortium assist the EPA in assessing new chemicals under TOSCA? And would such a program be helpful to your efforts to review new chemicals and bolster the use of good science in EPA's decision making? Well, thanks very much for that question. I think the answer is pretty simple. We are excited by any new scientific tool that can speed up our reviews and help us meet our obligation to reduce the use of animal testing under TOSCA. Uh, we've recently started a collaborative research project or research, research program with the Office of Research and Development, and we're doing some similar, we're making some similar efforts to try to modernize the models and the other scientific tools that we're using for new chemicals. And the, the project that you're describing, I think, would be a real, a really good complement to that. Yeah, I know it's uh, getting a little technical on you, but that's what happens when you have uh, some scientists and engineers in the Senate serving on this committee. Uh, just, just one, just one follow up uh, to the uh, Super Safe Consortium mm -hmm. uh, concept. Mm -hmm. You know, as you know, Tosca also requires that EPA reduce and replace the use of vertebrate animals in the testing of chemical substances to the extent that it's practicable uh, and scientifically justified. So, uh, can you? Talk just for a minute on how a super safe consortium and the use of these computational tools and models help EPA meet these TOSCA mandates. I think it would be a huge help. I think we are we are working to develop the mo similar models and tools to reduce the use of animals in in the TOSCA program and any additional help we could get um, through the type of consortia that you're contemplating. I think would be very appreciated. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Look forward to uh, following up with you on that. Uh, I do have other questions, but they seem to overlap with uh, questions that have been raised by other members of the committee. So uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, I'll uh, yield back.